Welcome to Litbit channel. Today we will see Survival by Margaret Atwood. Let's we see the short answer for this prose. What additional joy did the narrator derive from the comic book? The narrator derived the additional joy of delightful readings against the disapproval of her elders. Reading such works without the knowledge of the elder excited her. What is the subject of Charles G. D. Roberts' The Kings in Exile? It is the book on heartbreaking stories of animals. She received Charles G. D. Roberts' Kings in Exile as a Christmas present. This book fascinated as well as upset her since the stories are about animals that are caged, trapped, and tormented. How did Sidon's wild animal I have known affected Edward? Sidon's wild animal I have known. affected adward in much more serious and distressing way upsetting her since the animals were more actual and real they lived in a forest not circus and their death were more mundane she was deeply pained because it showed the death of rabbits in forest why does adward says that looking for meaning in a work of literature is akin to all work and no play Adwork says that looking for meanings in the work of literature is akin to all work and no play because the search of the meaning lack of delight or excitement of reading a story one should experience the pleasures of reading a story but when one tries to find the message or meaning out of the text it will be a work but not an entertainment Why were waters called fiction castles and constitutes of uh, fantasy according to Edward According to Edward Walter Scott fictional castles are constitutes of fantasy because she could, had never seen a castle in Kryptonet in Canada which distanced the stories from her real life as it is an imaginary place Why were the works of Sidon and Roberts closer to real life or Edward the works of Sidon and Roberts were closer to real life for Edward why were the works of Sidon and Roberts closer to real life uh, for Edward the works of Sidon and Roberts were closer to real life for Edward because Edward had seen those animals portrayed in the books in the real life like the dying porcupine stick and stone sort effects and live of the lands recipe which could be made easily these raw ingredients could be collected from around any canadian summer cottage the their books were practical handbook for survival which was full of helpful hints about the dangers of getting lost eating wrong roots or berries identified traps and snares etc which characteristics in certain books made them so more real to the narrator The animal stories by the Canadian writers like Sidon and Robert supporting the struggling to survive were more real to the narrator. It was in fact of survival manual which stressed on the dangers of the getting lost, eating the wrong roots or berries or the world being full of bait balls. In their stories no superhuman would come out of nowhere to rescue the sufferings or no lost manic magic would happen this story shows no final happy endings or ultimate solution they teach that one could avoid dying or manage what similarities did robert weaver and the helen james anthology canadian short stories share with the other canadian literature known to adwood The animals on the run with the human against them, battle against a frozen corpus, a dead gopher, snow, dead children, and even present feelings of menace where everything is against you and the familiar peril lurking um, behind every bush. Why is the exposure of Canadian literature of the average Canadian students or child unsatisfactory to Edward? The exposures to Canadian literatures of the average Canadian students or child is unsatisfactory to Edward because she feels that although new curricula have been framed across the country still people are attracted and give importance not to their own literatures but to the mainstream literatures like British literatures only she regards 
this as one of the problems that needs to be addressed by Canada. Let me see the four mark. How was Atwood enjoyment of comic books shaped by her elders' attitude towards them? The elders disapproved Atwood uh, reading her comic books and it was fun for her to read them against the disapproval. The elders did not approve of reading these books as it was away from her real life and was mean for entertainment. Ethel past times and fantasy escape uh, and were not closer to real life. It was uh, in Canadian literatures that Edward found stories closer to life, depicting the stories of animals and human beings struggling to survive. In comic books, uh, one got rescued or last minute wandered shaped. They had final happy endings and the ultimate solutions which Canadian literature lacked as it is portrayed, the dangers and pitfalls that encompassed the journey of life. What is likely to happen if you follow Edward when you concentrate too much on finding the meanings in what you are reading? When you concentrate too much on finding the meanings in what you are reading, the fun of readings of pleasures or entertainment might get lost. Just looking for the shapes or the meanings or the message of the text would be all work and no play and anything read for no pleasures or joy might as well as be given up. What in your own words, what significance Siddons and Roberts writing held for Atwood not only in their content but also the patterns and the forms of they are employed. <laughs> Edward found Siddons and Roberts writing significant in both our contents and patterns and forms as they were more close to life. She had seen the animal portrayed by them in real life and the recipes were readily available in Canada. Through most of these were somewhat inedible. The form contents and patterns of these animals and human stories were stories about the struggling to survive. Siddons' books was a practical handbook and was survival manual which laid stress on the dangers of getting lost, eating the wrong roots or berries or anchoring moose in season. They were full of helpful hints and thoughts that life was full of dangerous uh, from which one could escape only by the mixture of cunning experience and narrow escaping. These stories that depicted the familiar perils of everyday life and the ways of avoiding them or escaping from them was what made them significant to Atwood. What was Atwood's reactions upon reading Canadian short stories in high school? Edward was upset reading the Canadian short story in high school. She found the stories of animal caged, trapped and tormented as heartbreaking. She found these animals more actually were animals living in the forest were undergoing mundane death. She felt the British literature that she was given to read was not real and close to her land whereas Canadian literature was closer to real life. She was impressed by the shape that were emerging from Canadian literature. She was attracted to the patterns more than more contents. She found Canadian literature as a survival manual which emphasized the danger of everyday life and which thought that life was full of crises and that there were no final happy endings or ultimate solution in these stories. இந்த வீடியோ உங்களுக்கு பிடிச்சிருந்தால் மறக்காம லைக் பண்ணுங்கள் ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள் கமெண்ட் பண்ணுங்கள் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணி கூட பெல் ஐக்கனும் ப்ரெஸ் பண்